Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to update your rooted Nexus 6P from I guess any version. Well currently I'm on the uh, NBD90U uh, to the new, uh, let me just bring it up here, to the new NBD91K. And we're going to do this using Fastboot because of a bootloader upgrade that we need to do as well just to uh, simplify the whole process. So let's get started right away. As you can see here that SuperSU works just fine and we're on the version 2.78 SR3 and if we go into settings we should also see that we are on the NRD90U build of Android N. So to get started we're going to head over to our device, sorry to our computer first and we're going to have to download a couple things, namely these three files. So the latest version of SuperSU or whichever um, super user solution that you like to use, if you want to use PWH or Magisk you can do that as well. Um, of course the latest factory image, the NBD91K and our Android Tools folder, which just includes our ADB and Fastboot executables. Now you can get all these from these three links that I'll have down below. Of course, the Android Tools folder or zip file. And you might need to fill out a survey. Uh, it's just a Google survey. You can skip these, of course, and you just need to download them. And of course, we want to download the factory image. There'll be a um, I accept button uh, near the bottom here, and then you'll be able to see all the entries and lists. So we're going to go over to Angular for Nexus 6P down here or over on the right hand side. We're going to scroll down to the NBD91K. Um, yeah, the NBD91K. And download that, the blue link, and SuperSU, the latest version, from the other link down below. So we're going to have these files here, and we're going to be ready to flash. So first off, we're going to extract the Android Tools folder, all uh, files outside like that. We're going to open up the factory image here. We're going to go into the angular-nbd91k folder. And we're going to hold control and just select the radio and bootloader. Extract those two. And then we're going to open up the image zip. Uh, this might take a while as it extracts itself pretty much to a temporary directory. And then opens it. So it won't be too long. And we can minimize or close the internet window, Chrome window. And from here we're going to want to download the boot image. Oh, sorry, extract the boot image, uh, the system and vendor, just those three. We're going to drag them outside just like that. And while we wait for the images to flash, we're going to go over to our device and take that into the bootloader right now. So we're going to disconnect our any cables just so we can get into the bootloader a little easier. And we're going to hit power off. And then we're going to uh, hold the power and volume down buttons together once our phone is off. So we're just going to hold that like so, and that should take us into the bootloader. There we are, a little Android guy, and you can plug in uh, your USB cable back into the device. Now once you've extracted everything, um, as you can see it just looks like that, we can close all the WinRAR or un uh, archiving tool windows, all the zip file windows, and you'll be left with these files. So your folder should similarly look like this. If not, then um, just as long as you have the vendor image, system image, radio, bootloader, boot image, and of course the ADB and fastboot EXEs, you'll be all set to go. So to start off, we're going to start flashing the images now, and we're going to hold shift and right click in an empty spot, make sure nothing is highlighted, and we're going to click on open command window here. Now I'm just going to position this so we can all see what's going on. Um, yeah. Everything looks really big for some reason. That's alright, we'll just resize it a little. Okay, so we're going to start flashing a couple of things here. First off, we're going to flash, um, well, we might as well check that the device is in the bootloader correctly. So we're going to type in fastboot devices, hit enter, and you should see our serial number there, uh, and which it is, so our device is connected properly. We're going to flash the bootloader. So we're going to type in fastboot flash bootloader, leave a space on the end and drag in our bootloader image. The amount of, when you don't do this for a while you skip things for some reason. So uh, we're going to reboot back into the bootloader to, for it to take effect I guess. I'm going to type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader. Just like so, wait for our device to go back into that little Android screen. 
Once it's there, we're going to flash the new radio. So we're going to type in fast boot flash radio. Leave a space on the end. Drag in our radio image and hit enter. And once that is done, um, I'm just going to flash the boot image again just in case. So we're going to type in fast boot flash boot. Leave a space on the end. Drag in our boot image. I'm going to flash our system image. So we're going to type in fast boot flash system. Now this will take the longest. And we're going to drag in a system image and hit enter. Now this is essentially going to upgrade us to the NVD91K build of Android. And this will take the longest out of all of them pretty much. So we're going to sit here and wait. I'm just going to fast forward this until it finishes. Alrighty, so our system image has finished flashing. Now we're going to flash the vendor image here. So of course we're going to type in fast boot flash vendor. Leave a space on the end, of course, and drag in our vendor image and hit enter. Now this won't take quite as long, although still a large file. So once this is flashed, we're going to go into TWRP and we're going to flash our rooting solution. So again, like I've said, um, so we're now going to boot into the bootloader. So not the bootloader, into the recovery, like so. And so what I was saying before about you can choose your own rooting solution is that you can choose to flash SuperSU. I know I already showed you me downloading it, but if you have another one in mind, such as Magisk and PWH, or just PWH a super user, you can go ahead and flash that. Or of course, even choose not to flash root. And in fact, you'll just have a non-rooted device on the latest version. So of course, in TWRP, we're going to decrypt our data partition. That is just simply our lock screen passcode, and the same one that we use to turn on our device. Uh, we can keep this uh, read-only, if you like. I'm just going to swipe to allow modifications, because this doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to tap on install and I'm going to flash our rooting solution. In this case, it's going to be SuperSU. So we're just going to flash that and that's going to patch our boot image for its sim linking and all that and to achieve systemless root. So once this is done, our device will, we're going to reboot our device and see that we're on the latest version of Android and root it, of course. And tap on reboot system. And this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to fast forward this until we pretty much make it into Android again. Alrighty, so it looks like our phone is booted into Android now, and we shall have a look at SuperSU. Hopefully that works well. Uh, yes, it still works. And we're going to go into settings and have a look at our version number which of course is the NBD91K and we are still rooted. So pretty much that is it guys. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any more videos, uh, requests that you'd like to see, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If you have any questions, also leave them down there as well and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. And I know I keep asking for requests and I haven't really filled any. Um, I've been a little bit lazy since I finished my exams, but hopefully over the next few days before I go and leave a holiday, um, I should be able to pump out a few more videos, such as the one for Google Assistant, and there were some others that I wrote down, but can't really remember off the top of my head right now. But thanks for sticking by, and I'll hopefully be able to make more videos in the near future. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.